Hello guys, uh, welcome to uh, this channel. Today we are going to talk about Bitcoin. Um, this technical analysis actually is very important, I think, um, because Bitcoin now is, is going to reach the next level, maybe it is weak, as I said before. Um, my projection for Bitcoin is uh, one month ago, actually, I said it will be around $55,000, $57,000 around there. And from there, I'm expecting uh, actually a significant correction. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some things like we you need to be careful with this. I mean, I am not financial advisor, of course. Uh, just I am sharing my experience in the market, as I said many times. Okay. So... Many people, they are buying again here in this area, all this way. Uh, they will get wrecked. <laughs> Easy. They will get wrecked. Why? Because now, there, as you can see, the market is in FOMO again. Mm -hmm. uh, but based on this, as you can see here, we have a very obvious bear divergences here forming. Mm -hmm. It's not confirmed, but it's going to be confirmed maybe by the end of this week or maybe maximum. Maybe Friday, I guess. I guess, yes. Um, and as a trader, I always respect when I see bear divergences here. I will say the big buy for Bitcoin or the confirmation to buy Bitcoin was around thirty-eight, thirty-seven thousand dollars from here. Of course, using my my system. And from here, just holding and selling around here, uh, fifty thousand dollars, and the next area to sell is fifty-five. But if you ask me if is a good timing to buy Bitcoin? Of course not. I mean, it's my per in my personal opinion. And also, all the altcoins, all the altcoins, I will say this is time to start cashing out. Why? Because many people, they forget like Bitcoin is the ruler here in the market. So if Bitcoin crash, 90% of the market will crash. So... <clears throat> Doesn't matter if you believe like you altcoin is gonna be the next Bitcoin or is gonna be the next whatever you want. It's something like there is a very high probability you must consider like that altcoin will crash. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about more about this uh, <clears throat> one day chart. Yeah. So as you can see here, I said few days ago Bitcoin was in range and um, based on this I was expecting to see an upside yeah and from here as after I see fifty thousand dollars fifty one thousand dollars I started closing my positions in all the altcoins uh, if I am very honest right now I am totally flat I am not buying any altcoin right now I took a loss uh, I was holding a hero this altcoin about uh well it um my stop loss hit so no problem about it we cannot win all time so yeah and after that i'm expecting um and people are saying oh why why you don't wait why why you don't want to wait to see fifty five fifty six thousand dollars fierce and after that you can start taking profits but i won't i'm not going to <clears throat> i am not greedy mm -hmm. I am not greedy and just I am following my system and as a trader I will respect my technicals and my technicals are telling me right now it's time to be cautious again. So let's play about uh, let's say let's talk about more deeper about this technical this uh technical analysis. Okay, one day chart I know something. Bitcoin is gonna reach this area around this area, and of course I'm not going to buy here. I'm going I'm expecting a correction. As a trader, I'm, I'm expecting a correction. Maybe we will see maybe 5,000 or even more a correction to 45, 40, 47, or maybe $50,000 around there. Uh, we will see. Actually, this is pay attention of this. This is going to be the most important move for Bitcoin in all this year. Why? Because we will see finally the true phase of Bitcoin and the market. If Bitcoin breaks $50,000 hard, I mean, I'm talking about hard, and breaks all the MA55 in one day chart, I will say it's not a correction. I mean, it's not just a pullback, it's a correction in weekly chart. So what does that mean? Well, 
be ready because thirty thousand dollars is gonna be tested in some point of course not now please this is just my guess i am guessing right now uh so as a trader i am expecting a pullback and to keep going to the upside mm -hmm. i will respect the trend as long the trend is to the upside that's it simple but how I, i'm gonna become bearish in this price action easy if i see bitcoin breaking this level this level and not just this level breaking the ma 55 and closing below there below there one day chart i am expecting a full retrace to maybe thirty five thousand mm dollars -hmm. so technically speaking as i said for me in my personal opinion it's time to be careful it's time to start starting cashing out if you're making money congratulations and you are in my group and you are following my technicals well congratulations because i'm sure you could make good money in this in this rally so let's talk about something else uh, i'm gonna talk about a uh, bitcoin dominance bitcoin dominance is doing something very interesting and very dangerous for many altcoins um i said to you long time ago like three months ago mm -hmm, this area is the key area for bitcoin remember i said i think in march in april so i was expecting in one day chart uh-huh and weekly chart sorry a pullback from here and testing against this area and from here we will see something like this so this is my technical i said long long time ago i mean long time in april as you can see now it's playing good very very good actually so there are two scenarios here i can be wrong and Bitcoin, if Bitcoin breaks 40 level, 40 level, pay attention to this, 40 level. If we see Bitcoin breaking 40 level, it's going to break hard and it's going to reach maybe new lows in the Bitcoin dominance. And this is going to be super, super good for altcoins. Why? Because altcoins will just skyrocket. Ethereum, Litecoin, many altcoins, and you, you will see a very, very amazing party for altcoins. Okay, because the rule is when you see Bitcoin dominance crashing, the mark the altcoins will just rise up. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I don't think so. I think it's just gonna be like double bottom, something like this, similar setup like this, and you know what happened here. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting a similar setup. Okay, so if I see in weekly chart breaking 40 level, yeah. Yeah, I think altcoins will have a massive rally. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think so, honestly. I am expecting, a, because this is weekly chart, I am expecting a full correction maybe by the, uh, maybe in December, exactly in December, because it's weekly, so that means maybe in another two, three months, I am expecting Bitcoin uh, around here like this, in sideways, and after that, maybe in November, December, I am expecting Bitcoin to test again the May 55, a weekly weekly chart so that means many altcoins will have a consi uh, actually very good correction mm -hmm. so that's why i said uh, this time is a time for start thinking to cashing out uh for uh, well i am doing that right now in the market because i know altcoins uh, they are actually they're very close we are very close to see a reversal in altcoins mm -hmm, based on this chart let's see with technicals technicals actually as you can see here this cell pressure this this cell pressure actually is very weak so i am expecting in in t in tsv something like this and you know my pattern when i see this pattern again we will see something like this it will take months as i said based on this maybe in october maybe november december we will see something like this mm -hmm. So be careful, be, be careful. I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not expecting it's going to happen right now, but it's something you have to consider. Okay, so let's talk about other coins uh, quickly. About, uh, <clears throat> for example, Link. Uh, Link, um, amazing, amazing. My technicals play very good, actually. Weekly chart is still looking good, but as a technical, as a trader, I am in the area for selling. I was expecting this area to be tested again. Mm -hmm. 35 dollars 30, 30, 35 dollars uh, around here and we are here so that's why technically speaking is looking very good it's trending to the upside yes maybe i'm expecting new highs maybe 40 40 is going to be my next target 
but because I know Bitcoin is not looking very good, doesn't matter if the technical are, is looking very good for Link or any altcoin, doesn't matter. Bitcoin just, if you, if Bitcoin just crash, everything will crash. Uh, I would say is a pullback to buy more. I hope so. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see the market crash right now. I want to see the market crash maybe next year. I hope so. Matic, amazing. My long-term target is $2 again. But as you can see, I am. it's not looking very strong. So we have uh, bear divergences here, here, all this area. So same chart as Bitcoin. So I'm expecting a pullback in some point to 0 0.38, 0 0.40 to keep going to the upside. My long-term target for this, if Bitcoin doesn't, it's not crashing, I mean, right now, you know, or at least this year, I am expecting $2 to $2.15 in the long term. Mm -hmm. um, Solana, actually, Solana is one of my favorite coins right now. Solana is doing something impressive, actually, I would say. The price action is impressive. Uh, look at this. This is amazing, amazing. Um, technically speaking, there are no bear divergences here. I mean, this is just not FOMO, I think, it's just actually, it's good. As long uh, the the Aron indicator is above 90, I am expecting new highs. Actually, my target, technical ta target or psychological target, I would say, is $200. From here, I'm expecting a correction. But don't get me wrong, I'm bullish on this, but I will never buy this coin right now. Of course, no. As a trader, I will not buy. I will wait for consolidation or correction, and after that, I will just... I will start thinking to buy. As you can see, the MA55 is too far. So what does that mean? This well, when Solana has a will have a correction, well, you can just wait for the MA55 and wait for consolidation and to the upside because this is bullish. If you see weekly chart, weekly chart is still impressive, impressive, massive bullish. So yeah, I mean I'm bullish in in, in Solana. Of course, I will not buy right now. I will wait for my entry and my system to tell me where, when I see the signal, some, something like this, and here, maybe in some point this year, maybe in October, November, I will consider to enter again, but not now. Maybe for four hours, maybe four hours. Let me see four hours. Oh, yeah, four hours, we are forming, we're almost forming a bear divergence here. So maybe other push maybe to 200 and from there we will see a pullback and after that maybe we can consider to enter again. Um, okay, something else I want to talk about. Okay, it's, it's enough about altcoins. I want to show you the total market cap of altcoins. I want to see what is happening right now. As you can see here, this is very interesting. New highs or almost, almost new highs testing the previous high or, uh, or market cap for altcoins so consider this you have a potential bear divergences here okay this is weekly so what does that mean what does that mean maybe one week or two weeks altcoins will start pumping but as a trader i would never never consider to buy altcoins and holding if i see the total market cap is trend is testing the new high the previous high of course, maybe you will say, ah, it's to the moon, right? Yes, but, well, I am just following my system. And my system is, I will buy I will buy again when I see the next correction to the MA55 in maybe, I don't know, in other two, three months. I don't know. I cannot, I don't, I am not, I am, this technicals is for, for weekly, please. I am talking about months. So for holding, I mean, that, people like they want to buy and hold for maybe two or three months this information maybe is useful but people for day traders for example when they or swing traders when they chart even even here i mean here is looking strong yes but this is the, the the area where we want to sell we don't want to buy here we want to buy when we are we see after the pullback right so don't get me wrong, the price, the market cap for altcoins are, is bullish actually, is very good. Let me see the monthly chart. Yeah, monthly chart is looking very good. Just consider here, uh, you see in Aaron losing the 50 level. Actually, it's going to test. You see? You see the Aaron 
indicator losing the 50 level, we will see finally the end or a major pullback, something like this. Mm -hmm. So all your new bitcoins, new, your new projects, like they are gonna be the next bitcoin, they will crash on a heart. Mm -hmm. So just be aware about it. Um, okay, so let's talk about Bitcoin because I want to show you. Um, I have just other five minutes because I want. I don't want to spend too much time in this video. I want to show you something very interesting in the long term for Bitcoin. I want to show you the BLX because it's the longest, the oldest actually uh, chart for Bitcoin. Um, if we see here, I'm gonna use logarithmic. And I'm going to use something like usually I don't use. Why? Because I know is um, I uh, like trying to predict the market. No, I am not trying to predict the market. I am using just technical indicators, price action, and based on probabilities, I take my decisions. First of all, we need to understand something. The trend is your friend, and the trend is to the upside since 2016 for Bitcoin. Okay, so if you see the market start correcting, don't get panicked. Don't be panicked. Okay, no problem. Of course, if you are fifty x leverage and you want you are invested your money in meme coins, yeah, you must be worried because meme coins in, the, in general are garbage. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you will get wrecked for maybe one year or two or three years, even more. Mm -hmm. But if you are investing in solid projects, for example, Matic, Link. Uh, Bitcoin, Cake, uh, um, Solana, uh, many coins like they have a very solid projects. Maybe as long Bitcoin is holding the long term uh, uptrend, you are safe because in some point you will get back all the, your your money and even you will make more. But pay attention to this, okay? I'm gonna show you something like is very concerning. Bitcoin now is testing is actually this month is officially is going to break potentially the level 70 in our own. That means all this move, uh -huh, all this move since the coronavirus is losing momentum. OK, if Bitcoin is doing a new high, for example, we have two scenarios here. I'm going to use something I don't like, but it's very good for long term perspective. OK, in long term. This is not something I'm not saying is going to happen, but we have two possibilities here in monthly in. OK, I'm going to change a weekly chart because it's going to be better here. We have. With Elliott Wave theory, we have five waves to the upside. OK, so the problem with Elliott Wave theory is like you are play, trying to be Nostradamus. Mm -hmm. If you are you see a uh, little uh, trader they will never be, they will never be wrong why because they will share with you maybe five or six uh, types of different counts of early ways if the, the market moves to one direction they will say you see I was right because they posted maybe five or six counts mm -hmm. that's why I don't use it but in the in the long term big picture actually they work and they work very very good actually so we have two possibilities right now okay we have one wave two wave uh huh and this could be the third wave could be and the correction from 50 50 50 65 thousand dollars to 30 thousand dollars was the fourth wave corrected wave and the last wave could be the same level like fifty sixty thousand sixty thousand dollars or maybe uh around i don't know higher than sixty five thousand dollars okay this could be the the bullish scenario okay based on the weekly chart i would say it's potentially yes potentially we can see something like that it depends of bitcoin if it's not rejected from fifty six thousand dollars if we see monthly chart closing below fifty six thousand dollars maybe not this year we will see this this uh i mean higher prices and the very scenario the very scenario here is we have this count same count but here is the 
third way, four, and this is the five, the fifth way, the last way. Uh -huh. I'm gonna change the color in white. Uh -huh. And in the macro time frame, this could be just a correction wave, A, B, C correction, A, B, and C. Okay. Keep in mind about this. Check the, the check the charts. Uh -huh. We have two scenarios. Okay. So. In the bullish scenario, Bitcoin is in the third wave, and now we have the corrective wave in four, and we will have we now we are in the process of the last wave. This wave could be the same, the same uh, reach the same level as this one, or higher, a little bit higher, maybe 100 or maybe 85, 90, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or we are in a corrective wave where Bitcoin is rejected by the previous high around here fail to break the previous high and uh, you will see a bigger correction okay i am not saying it's going to happen of course i don't know as i said to you yes i'm showing you two potential scenarios in the long term mm -hmm. now i'm going to combine my system with this quite like prediction because other web traders they use this and that's it mm -hmm. they don't use anything else Based of this, if Bitcoin gets rejected for $55,000, we will see something like this. Something like this, a dark green and, and potential sell, sell signal here. And we will see other test to MA55, around $40,000. Okay. So if Bitcoin breaks MA55, officially we will enter in a pair market in weekly chart. So forty thousand dollars and of course i am not expecting thirty thousand dollars is going to hold anymore and uh, we will see maybe lower prices and you will see a real bear market why because we are going to see a printed bear bear divergences here in weekly chart okay so this is the bear post the bear market uh, the potential bear market the post the potential bear market i can see right now okay so the bullish scenario is like okay to the moon right and this is just going up 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 and this is breaking the previous high and to the moon it's exactly the same something like here mm -hmm. something like here you see bitcoin crash and tested the previous high and consolidation for maybe four months and after that we will see a massive rally i want to see something like this if bitcoin breaks this level mm -hmm. holding here maybe a couple of months confirming this as support sixty thousand dollars and from here i am gonna be super bullish and we will see 100 150 thousand dollars mm -hmm. but as i said i i cannot predict the future we have two scenarios okay so weekly chart to be fair is looking very bullish as long the error the momentum is above 90 the price is trending to the upside that's it simple okay but let's talk about the the fifth day, mm -hmm. five day chart. Why five day chart is very important? It's very easy because uh, market makers they work from Monday to Friday. They don't trade weekends. That's why I like to use a five day chart because I want to see what they can, what they are watching. And as you can see, the price is trending. It's trending to the upside in five day chart. It's looking very good. But don't get me wrong. We have a potential bear divergence forming here in five day chart. So that means maybe not this month, but maybe in October, November, we will see a correction. And actually, I am expecting the same thing in one day chart. So as a trader, as I said to you, the price is bullish, but we have some warnings in macro time frames. We have some warnings and we need to be careful with this. So as a trader, I will never buy here, here, here. I will just wait for my correction and I will follow the trend because the trend is my friend. Mm -hmm. So now let's talk about the my the prices I am expecting for Bitcoin in the long, 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 long term. As you can see here, we have the full monthly chart here. But pay attention of this. Mm -hmm. Potentially, 
why I'm expecting something like this is a uh, correction. This is not, uh, I, I am expecting a new highs this year. Is because we have this at all. You see? Bitcoin is in 2017 all the way from to I mean from two thousand dollars or no, five hundred dollars to almost twenty thousand dollars okay and now we are in this process maybe around here uh-huh and it's testing around seventeen or in 2017 it was testing seventeen thousand dollars and it got rejected and from there and we we saw the bear market and now we see similar setup here okay now we know here we have the the previous high okay and now we have this setup yeah if bitcoin fails and if bitcoin, if bitcoin is doing a new high i hope so we will have a bear divergence here in monthly chart so what does that mean from here we will see a massive correction okay so the point i'm trying to say here is <clears throat> i will just wait for the ma55 in monthly chart mm -hmm. To be tested around i don't know the price i cannot tell you right now i mean right now I, uh, the me55 is around twenty two thousand mm dollars -hmm. but as i said you are thinking to become investor not just in bitcoin in all the market crypto market for one year for example wait wait be patient and just wait for the me55 to be tested doesn't matter the price and follow this channel because I'm sure in this channel, I'm going to tell you when I'm going to buy in long term again Bitcoin and many altcoins. Mm -hmm. So, wait for this level. I don't know the price right now. Of course, with the system, potentially something like this. In some point, 2022, 2023, we will see maybe a potential the bull market again mm -hmm. but let's see let's see first um well this is my long-term perspective as i said i am bullish uh ah, yeah i forgot to say something my longest my long 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 term target for bitcoin i'm talking about the next two three years i'm gonna show you a very simple very very basic way to do it as you can see here we have this beautiful trend line i know you said hey you don't use you don't use um a classic technical analysis yes you are right i i use i come i frequently sorry i don't i don't use it very often but this is trend line this trend line is something like i would like to pay attention here why because i didn't let me let me draw this properly because i want to show you here what i'm talking about here using body candles here as you can see here every time when bitcoin is testing this train line to the upside and finally broke this train line here mm -hmm. let me zoom yeah uh, broke this train line here and went to test it this line and got rejected and testing this one again and got rejected and potentially we will see other tests in some point of this trend line. So the long term price, it depends on the time, it will be around $150,000, $200,000. I am expecting for Bitcoin in the long, long term. As long the MA55 in monthly chart is respected. If Bitcoin breaks MA55 level, because that never happened in the history. Mm -hmm. Okay, last thing. We never had a bear market in in you know uh, uh with bitcoin never never okay tell me what is the bear market this is just a correction this is just a correction correction to keep going so if we follow my system every time when it's testing the me 55 upside me 55 upside me 55 upside so me 55 upside you see simple that's it but one day it's gonna fail one day is gonna fail if you see you don't want to see bitcoin breaking me 55 in monthly chart closing one month there is very bad why because we will see finally the first real bear market in all the crypto ecosystem okay be careful with that 
of course it's something like we maybe we can talk maybe in some years because this is monthly i mean monthly i am very bullish very very bullish if we see you say okay when when it's gonna happen well i don't know but if we see for example three month chart there is nothing 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 bearish about this coin mm -hmm. nothing something you must be aware about this in three months every time the volume is decreasing uh this is increasing so we have a pr divergences here mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean like bitcoin is going to crash right now of course not it's three month chart i mean three months i mean it, it will take maybe four years or something like that to we will see new highs and after that we will see a massive correction in some point i don't know when in 10 years who knows mm -hmm. But as I said, for now, enjoy the bull market and just be careful. Be careful. Okay, last thing in, in three months. Let me see. Uh, July, October. Okay, easy. If you see the in October, Bitcoin closing about fifty-seven thousand dollars in October. I am expecting new highs. New highs. That's it. Simple. In October. Okay. If that if you don't see Bitcoin closing about that, well you can see what happened yeah it's gonna be rejection okay guys well thank you very much for watching um if you have any question if you like this video please uh support this channel um uh, share this this uh this channel this video and i'm gonna start doing live streams and um, please i will need your help because i cannot scan all the altcoins in the market so I will change. I will change the format of the of the live streams. Instead of just uh, sharing my technical analysis, I'm gonna. I I hope you can help me uh, sharing you a list of altcoins you find and you maybe you can find interesting, and we can start sharing our technical analysis all together for learning and improving our skills in the channel. Uh, sorry for trading mm -hmm, in this channel. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.